Hello, my lovely Libras. We are moving on to your how do they feel about you reading. This has to do with the person that you have your eye on, who you have a crush on, who you have some type of feeling for. Now, remember that this is a general reading. It will not apply to every single Libra. Please check out your sun, moon, meters, or rising placement because if this does not resonate, maybe the other readings will resonate. I'm doing a little different style today because I've been encouraged to do so. And I feel like it's time for a little bit of a change when it comes to the crush readings. So hopefully you like it. And if you do, if you like the new style, please let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. A lot of you have been commenting that you've noticed that I've been doing reversals. Yes, I have been doing reversals now. I switch up from time to time. It depends on how spirit tells me how to read it. And sometimes I feel it a little bit different. So until my spirit changes, I'm going to do, be doing reversals now. That one just flipped. Let's see what that was. Sorry, did not mean to kick the camera there. Not going to flip it. Nope, that one wants to come out. All right, I'm gonna be reading it as, as if this is you, Libra. Now keep in mind that these could be reversed. This could be the other person. Left is you, right is the other person. Again, like I said, the roles could be reversed. I'm gonna scoot this over so you can see the cards. All right, Libra. This person is someone you really, really idealize. To you, this is their wish. Your, they're your wish come true. But at the same time, you feel like even though they could be with you, it's an equal amount of heaven and an equal amount of hell. For some reason, I believe this person is not your usual type. This is someone who's definitely different from you, someone who is a little bit chaotic, someone who's a little bit on the dangerous side, something that you're not used to, but yet it does attract you. I do see that. This is somebody who you feel like you could have had a soul connection with, because I do see the two of cups here in reverse. I also see the two of wands to follow here. Now, you believe that you lost an opportunity with this person, or you feel like it's kind of hopeless to be with this person. So that's why the star card and the two of cups are in reverse. Now, as far as their feelings go, they feel as if trying to be with you would be kind of pointless. Like they've, like they've tried to give you a hint at some point in time that, hey, you know, We've been friends for a while, or we've been talking for a while, but I feel like it's not going anywhere. And when I say talking, I don't mean flirting or anything like that. I just mean having a good conversation. I believe this person has given you hints, and they kind of just gave up on the situation, and it's just turned to another situation. However, for some of you Libras, I feel like this person feels like you're a player. They feel like you can't be trusted, like you're very flirtatious, you have a lot of attention on you, but since this Seven of Swords is in reverse... This is not true. This is just a false interpretation. But I think what's happening, Libra, is that you may, you presented yourself as somebody who's super attractive, that everybody wants. And I think you flirted with other people in front of this person and made them think that, hey, I'm a desirable person. People want me. I look good. I'm attractive. I'm smart. You should want me too. But what happened, Libra, is it kind of backfired and it made them think that you're a player. It made you think that it made them think that you're not someone who could make a commitment. So that's probably why you feel like you've lost a chance at this person. So the truth of the matter is you played a game and it kind of backfired on you. And they think that now that you presented this persona, they're not really trusting that you're a commitment type. That's why it's in this particular place. Hope is not lost though, Libra, because I do see the two of wands and I do see the tower in reverse. Now the two of wands is you making a decision between two choices. You're either going to, hey, I'm going to still go after this person or hang on to this balcony and still watch from a distance and just admire this person and maybe not let my feelings be known. However, here in the tower card, this is in reverse. Instead of falling apart and falling off the building, this is somebody who crashes down and is going back towards the top. Now, I do want to get some clarification here. 
for the two of wands and the tower. So let's find out what we need to do here. Spirit, clarify the two of wands for me. Oop. Oh, two cards came out. Seven of swords in the upright. And then we got the six of pentacles in the upright. Oh, those two cards want to come out. Ten of wands and the queen of wands. Here we go, Libra. You realize at some point that they do think that you're a player. So you decide to change your strategy and become truly who you are which is the six of pentacles. You're represented by the scales here, Libra. So you do see a scale here. You see a balance. You start showing them, hey, I'm not a flirtatious person. That was just a front. I'm a very giving person. I'm a very loving person. See, this is really who I am. I'm just somebody who likes to talk to people to make them feel good, who make them feel nice. I'm not this player that you think that I am. I think you just start just demonstrating that to this person, Libra. And therefore, they start to begin to feel like the tower in reverse, like, oh crap, I messed up. I need to reverse what I was thinking and change my mind and give Libra another shot. But this is only if you decide to show who you really are, Libra. No more game playing, all right? Because after they feel like that, if you do, if you continue to do what this is, because this is past, present, future here. So you can make this be your outcome. They start feeling like the 10 of wands and then they become the queen of wands. Instead of like the uh, nine of wands is somebody who feels kind of beat up, like they have passion for somebody, but they don't, they're tired of feeling like hurt or distraught over it. And they just, but they stick to the hope that maybe, just maybe this person is what I think they are. So I'm going to be faithful and hope out that this person is loyal and passionate this is because this is what I want. Because this is a loyal person standing by their post, even though they feel beat up about it. But if they stick it out, they'll start feeling like the queen of wands. The queen of wands is someone who's confident, passionate, fiery. I believe you find this person very attractive, hot, passionate. They have a, um, a spice for life. And it's something different than what you're used to. And that's what you want. Because I think in your this point in time, Libra... You've had a certain standard and a certain type of person that you're attracted to, but this person sticks out because they're not your usual type. This is not your usual type. However, they're very smart. That's why they've had this doubt in the beginning, and that's why you had doubt because your strategy before was not working. So if you decide to be honest and truthful and prove to this person, well, okay, all that what I was doing before is a front. It's a front. I didn't. I'm not really this type of person. I'm really this person. It starts changing this person's mindset and giving them openness to you, Libra. So they do feel something for you, but they had a misrepresentation of you because of the front that you were giving them. And when you're open and honest and showing them who you truly are, they will become open to you and passionate towards you once again. So I hope this gave you some clarification, Libra. I do see Aquarius. I see Scorpio. I see Scor strong Scorpio because I have the death card and the tower card here. I also see Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Any of those signs I mentioned could be in their sun, moon, Venus, or rising, or perhaps your sun, moon, Venus, or rising. If this resonated with you, Libra, please give me a like. Please subscribe. Hit that bell notification and give me some support on my channel. I would love to help it, help it grow and you help me grow and I can do more videos for you more often. I love you so much. Peace.